What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I have a huge haul and I really want to get this video recorded because I want to put this stuff away. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to jump into the video. Um, let's start off with these. It's the three pack of the rectangle sponges. It's the Essence of Beauty brand. Looks like this. They're just sponges, you know. This is an Eco Tools, uh, Eco Poof, Eco Puff, however you want to say it, dual cleansing pad. It exfoliates and cleanses. It's 100% recycled netting and loofah. So it's the, um, oh, what do you call those things? The puff, the shower puff. It's th that on this side and then um, this like straw type stuff on this side so I'm guessing this is the exfoliating side and um, again it's from Eco Tools. Then I have this night mask, eye mask, um, it says nighty night, it looks like this. Um, I really needed this because I like my room to be super dark when I'm sleeping and sometimes during the day when my daughter is napping I like to sleep with her and this will come in handy for when I don't want the light to disturb my sleep. I have two of these Essence of Beauty. One is limited edition. I don't know why. I'm guessing maybe because of the color, but they are just blender sponges. Blending sponges. They look like this. I have a purple and a pink and they're Essence of Beauty if I didn't say that already. Then I have this Wonderstruck, uh, Taylor Swift Wonderstruck Scented Body Lotion looks like this. I actually bought that, uh, bought this because today is my sister's birthday and I'm going to give this to her when she comes to visit me here in Florida in a couple of months. Then I have the Freeman Facial Polishing Mask. It's a charcoal and black sugar scrub. It looks like this. It's not really a mask. I wouldn't say it's a mask. Um, to me, it's more like basically what it says, black sugar scrub. And charcoal is what it is to me. Um, I'm, I've only used it once so I can't really say how I feel about it yet. Um, my first impression was I could have made this myself kind of thing with you know some honey and brown sugar but I mean it's okay. Then I bought the uh, Biore deep cleansing pore strips. I bought the combo um, some for your nose some for your face looks like that. Um, I did like these although I have not used these for a very, very long time. And when I say very long time, I want to say like 10 plus years. And I did like them. However, when you take them off, it almost feels like it's ripping your skin. It's, it's a slightly painful. Um, but you do see all the little monsters that come out of your face. And I would say that they definitely work if you can withstand the pain. So, Biore Pore Strips. This is another gift that I bought for my sister, and it's the e.l.f. Little Black Beauty Book. It's a 48-piece. It um, has eyeshadow, um, a mirror, and just a little sponge applicator. And it looks like so. I don't know why it came in this big box, because literally the packet, the actual product is about this, this big, but it comes in this big old box. But yeah, I bought this today at the flea market, so I can't wait till she comes to visit me. Yeah, it's another gift I bought for my sister. It's a Sally Hansen Moisture Twist. Moisture Twist. It's a two-on-one primer plus color, and it's in the color Peach Smoothie, number 25. It looks like that. I don't know if you can see the color. Sorry, I cannot open it to swatch it because, like I said, it is a gift for my sister. Then I have the Psst, uh, Instant Dry Shampoo looks like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one or not. Um, I only tried it once so I don't know. There are some other ones that I really enjoy so I don't know about this one. I'll keep you posted Two though. Two of uh, Tresemme products here. Let's see. Let's start with this pink line first. It's the 24 hour body uh, blow dry lotion with collagen. Um, looks like that. I bought this at Target. It was on clearance for $4. Um, so, yeah, that's that. 
Then in the same line with the collagen, it's the 24-hour body finishing spray. Looks like this. This is the Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo, and this is for fine or oily hair, and I really do enjoy this product. Then we have the Tresemme um, Number no. 4 Mousse. It's an all-day humidity resistance mousse, and it looks like this. I haven't tried it yet, so... I bought two um, shaving creams from the flea market today. One is, uh, they're both Gillette Satin Care line. One is the uh, Passionista Fruit and one is the Shea Butter. And they look like these. So, just shaving cream. Nothing special. I bought two Rimmel polishes yesterday from CVS because they were buy one get one 50% off. I have one in the color Barmy Blue, number 447 and one in the color reggae splash number 705 and they look like this and I really do enjoy these polishes um, these are the salon pro with lycra lycra however you say it lycra um, I do prefer the ones in the little square bottles over these ones the ones in the square bottle to me are a little bit more opaque um, basically one coat and you're good to go but they're okay um, this is another product I bought for my sister. It's Sephora by OPI, and it's in the color Non-Fat Soy Half Calf. I don't know. I don't know if Half Calf is supposed to be like another language for the color Non-Fat Soy, but it is a pretty neutral color, and my sister enjoys that kind of Non-Fat Soy kind of stuff. So, how appropriate is this for her? For her birthday so shout out to my sister elizabeth i call her doodlebug today is her birthday so happy birthday c star i call we call each other c star i have three milani polishes two are the neon line um this is in the color rad purple and this one is in the color fresh teal and then i have one that's uh, more of a it's not a shimmer. Um, anywho, it's in the color Bolting Blue. It's very pretty. I have two Spa Perfect uh, makeup remover wipes. These are from Target, and these are in like the dollar section at Target in the front of the store. For those of you who live at Target like I do, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is in the scent or flavor or whatever you want to call it, vanilla sugar cookie. And then I have the twisted peppermint so I'm guessing these were probably left over from like their Christmas stuff I don't know but they were super cheap and we'll see we'll see how good they work I bought these today and they are the Louis Vuitton sunglasses and they look like this I like them my husband picked them out so um, they are the UV whatever 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 but yeah they look like this they kind of look like my Jessica Simpson ones that I bought at Dillard's a while back but um, the one the Jessica Simpson ones I have are more of a rectangle to wash them and use them so I have let's see this is a studio 35 and I believe studio 35 is a Walgreens brand and this is a double-ended brush and it is an angled eyeliner and shading brush comes in a package like this. Hell, I buy so much shit, I can't remember where I buy it from. But I'm almost positive that um, Studio 35 is Walgreens. So on one end is an angled liner brush, and then the other side is just a shader brush. Then I have two London Soho New York brushes. I have a powder brush, and I have an angled liner brush. and somebody told me and I know they sold these or used to sell these or still sell these whatever at Walmart but somebody said that they um, are no longer selling these brushes there and I bought these at Dee Dee's and it, for those of you who don't know what Dee Dee's is it's kind of like a Marshall's or a TJ Maxx or something like that so compared to eight dollars these brushes were only three dollars a piece and yeah Beauty. so Beauty Muse Pro Cosmetic Brush Set comes with a uh, base shadow brush, crease brush, eyeliner brush, and a brow brush. And I know it's hard to see, but the packaging looks like this. 
These are the brushes on the back. And I will take them out so you can see them really quick. Shit. They really package this stuff so that you can't get them out. Okay, come on now. Work with me. Work with me. Okay, so this is the base shadow brush. And I kind of like these. They have... Um, they kind of have like the the brush handle, like the real technique, real techniques brush, where it's like round and flat at the bottom, so you can stand them up. So this is a domed shape so brush, the base shadow brush. Um, it says foundation application, but I'm guessing um, something like this because it is fully domed um, and it's dual fiber. This would be good for applying like a, a cream found a uh, cream foundation. A cream shadow or you know something like that maybe even applying concealer I don't know if you want to buff it in certain spots I don't know but anyway this is called the base shadow brush then we have the crease brush and it is tapered it's fluffy um, once again it's dual fiber uh, I would say that this is good for contouring in the crease of your eye I don't know if the camera is really picking up what this brush looks like then we have the eyeliner brush, and it's flat, tapered, um, like so. And this, I mean, it says eyeliner brush, but you know, it's for fine line application. So you can really get into, like, under your eye, um, you know, something like that. I could maybe even see somebody using this as a lip brush. I don't know. And then it comes with a brow brush, which is, you know, just to shape your brows. It's a very wide flat angled you know brush like so um so yeah those are the brushes please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the the haul and make sure to comment rate subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in my next video okay bye guys